Good morning. I woke up this morning feeling totally like I hated the podcast episode that I recorded yesterday and like I need to completely refilm it. So that's what I'm going to do right now before anything else. So I rewrote it and I'm going to re-record it so that it goes up on Monday the way that I want it. It's not that yesterday's was bad. It's just I woke up and I want to talk about it differently than I did. So it's going to be the same topic, but I just want to redo it. So I'm just going to do that quickly. I haven't done like anything else yet. Like I didn't even make the bed as you guys saw. Like for me not to make the bed, it's crazy. I'm trying to pretend like my day has not started yet because I'm like going so out of order of things. But yeah, what time is it? Let's see. It's 924. I have therapy at noon and then i'm going to lunch with my mom and then i think her and i are going shopping because she has to get stuff for a party that she has tomorrow like charcuterie board stuff and fixing so um before i go to therapy which means i need to leave here at 11 45 i want to go for a walk get ready for the day so i want to shower Yesterday I did my makeup and I loved how it turned out. So I want to do my makeup again. So I need to shower, do my makeup, go for a walk. Um, and, and I obviously want to re-record this podcast. I don't have a ton of work to do today. I feel like I did everything. Or oh, I didn't go to the bank. I didn't go to the freaking bank. And we're just going to erase that and do that on Monday. Next week's going to be a great work week because I have so much time to be like creative and put out new products for the new year digitally. So that's really great. I'm looking forward to that. All right. So today, yeah, I don't have a lot to do today. I just have to order some sweatshirts for Stride. Yeah, that's really all that I have to do. So I'm going to therapy at noon, lunch with my mom. Yeah, and the sun's out. Yay! The way that like I actually feel like myself again. I'm Kylie Jenner. I feel like feel my personality coming back. I feel like when my glasses are on, the day has not yet started, so it's okay that my bed isn't made. Like, I just feel like I'm doing this before I'm like starting my day, so it feels good. Like there's a good system going on in my brain that I'm about to uh, do. Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Manifest with Tori D. Simone. I'm your host. Tori D. Simone, and I hope you guys are having an amazing Monday. I'm having an amazing day because the sun is finally out. I'm you know what I need is a big scarf. I'm going to go to a boutique that's right by where we're going for lunch today and see if they have like a big scarf there. All right, so now it's 10.15. I am ready to start my day. This is also part of starting my day when I have to leave my house and like I go on Pinterest and I just look for outfits. I've heard like so much shit about her. Like all the horror stories about like her, you know, being not great. I've heard that. I don't know if it's true.
so whoa um i was so not feeling like the front pieces of my hair so i just did like a little braid and put them back i hope it looks good but i don't really have time to fix it so it's gonna have to look good for today um i spent way too much time getting ready and now i don't have time for a walk but that's okay because i feel good like i haven't been getting ready lately and it's really like contributed to a bad self image of myself and i don't want to feel like that so lately i've been trying lately as in like as of yesterday I've been really trying to prioritize getting ready. Like that's why I wanted to get ready for the light show yesterday and just for like lunch and shopping today with my mom. Even though I'm going to therapy first, I'm gonna walk in and feel like a fraud because like my therapist sees me in sweatpants every single week and then this week I'm gonna walk in with like a full little outfit. She's gonna be like, oh my God, who are you? So I have to go now, but I didn't have enough time for my walk. So maybe I'll do that later. But I am having a pretty great morning so far. I'll show you guys my outfit. It's nothing special. And if you don't like the hair, just uh, don't tell me because I'm not fixing it. My mom's probably going to think it's really cute though. Um, okay, so the jacket's Urban Outfitters. I'm wearing this... Um, like crop sweatshirt with a hood. I wanted a hood with this jacket. Um, from yeah, the more I look at the hair, the more I don't like it, and it's off centered. Hmm. Anyway, it's from Barry's Boot Camp. It's like their merch, and I'm wearing sorry that it's in front of my bar cart, but there's a mirror behind it. Um, a line leggings, and then TNA ankle socks with Aritzia. No, not Aritzia. Reeboks. The hair is fine, and the hair is cute, and I just need to get on with my day so excited for lunch we're going to one of our favorite spots okay gotta go oh frick i forgot to change my battery before i left so i might have to switch over to my phone later for vlogging purposes damn it tori um anyway just got done therapy it was awesome as always therapy just rocks it's always the best so i'm so mad that i didn't change my battery like I even like I'm ready today I'm dressed whatever I might just have to be on my phone later um this camera battery dies so much but anyway finished therapy it was awesome I'm on my way to my mom's I'm gonna keep it short because of my battery but I'll see you guys there hey ringy guys look how cute my mom looks don't you think she looks like Mrs. Dutton who's dead <laughs> who's dead but if she was alive you would totally look like her wait should I have everyone wear your, like your outfit is so freaking cute I can't even get over it Look at this. What? She's got her little straight leg boot cut. My little boot cut jeans, boots. my little booties, my whatever you call this thing. You have better style than me. You're so freaking cute. Oh, no, you do. I have no idea how to dress myself these days. <laughs> well, you killed it today. Well, thanks, honey. That's Looks awesome. so cute. I have um, candles for you. Oh, you do? What kind? They're just little tape. Oh, so that we don't have to use. Yeah. The ones that dripped all over my have, table. You, you want to throw some in your car? Yeah, I'll get them when, when we come back. Okay, remind me. Are we building the charcuterie board today? No, I'll put it together tomorrow. So you can't make me a mini one later? No, that's okay. Your eyes are so, you're so pretty today. Don't you guys think? <laughs> you're so cutie, Mom. Yeah, oh, wait, how old's Grandma? 83. Okay, so she was two years old when Pearl Harbor happened. Yes, she was born in 39. Okay, why did she talk about it? Like she remembers every single detail of it. Because she lived in Hawaii and they were escaping. But she was two years old. No, I, I know. Well, but that's a big, that was a traumatic event. They had to get a ship from Hawaii to uh, mainland U.S. And they couldn't go in a straight line because of the bombers and stuff in the air. Like there was war going on. Yeah. <clears throat> Pearl Harbor had not been bombed yet, but there was a war going on. They were a target. But she was two. She remembers all this? She remembers part of it, yeah. Because, yeah, it was her and her older sister, who was only a year and a half older than her, and her mom was pregnant with her little brother. Mm. And Grandpa had already gone to the mainland to work. So he left the wife and kids, pregnant wife, two little girls, mm. to find their way to California. 
So they took this ship. The ship couldn't go in a straight line um, because they were dive, you know, bombing, yeah. like depth finders, torpedoes, all this sort of stuff. So it took them two and a half weeks to get from Hawaii to California oh my God. on a ship. Well, yeah, I was in the car with dad the other day and on the news they said Pearl Harbor was 81 years ago. Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday or something, a couple days ago. <laughs> it was on Wednesday. Yeah, it December was 81 Saturday. years ago. Yeah. And I was like, there's no way grandma was only two. Yeah, well, you'll have to ask her about it. She loves telling that. She story. loves telling it, yeah, she, she does. She loves telling all her stories. She Everyone stories. Um, listening, I will, my grandma comes in town next week. So I'll have my grandma tell the story because she loves telling Get ready for a long vlog when that one happens. Mm -hmm. Do you like my hair like this? I do. The little braid on top is very cute. Well, my front pieces were just not really having it today. But I wish it would just stay fanned out like this mm. instead of going back to whatever. In oh, yeah. Instead of like filtering out. Yeah. yeah. There must be a way to make that happen. A bobby pin, but I don't have one. I do. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> okay. But you like I think it? it's cute. What size is that jacket? That's cute. Um, small, medium. Oh. It's meant to be oversized. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm hungry. Should we go? Yes, I'm hungry too. I do. It's really big. That's what I want. Knowing that. That's not good. And she's all mad. How are you? Oh, I break my camera battery. I wish I changed my battery. It's like flashy. It's sitting up funny. But yeah, it is. But no, I like it. Well, I don't know how to get out of it now. <laughs> the tag's in the way. I'm definitely gonna get this. Yeah, I like it. And I'm gonna. I just, is it? 44. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. <coughs> I was just looking for a scarf to like this way. You found it. Found it. Yeah, and I then how do you like do the thing color. over your head? Oh, I don't know. Um, I saw it on TikTok. I think you go like this and then back around. And part of it wraps. And, no, I forget how to do it, but like. Part of it tucks into itself and then you fold it up over your head. Yeah. I'll watch a TikTok and we'll try it when we get home. Yeah, I've seen that too. You're rushing because your camera's about to die, isn't it? Yeah. But I'll switch over to my phone. But it's just so annoying because my phone quality is never the same. Okay, we're definitely going to get this and I'm definitely going to go crazy in here because I have a lot of stuff. So I'm going to switch my mindset and go shopping. I just dropped a bag at Threads in um, Phoenixville on Bridge Street which I've always known about, but I haven't ever gone in. And that was um, a mistake I should have went in years ago. Shout out to Gina, Shout out, the salesperson. Yeah, really, she was awesome. Everyone's been telling me my hair looks darker lately, and I agree. I think it's because I chopped off all the blonde. Yeah, I think that's exactly why. But anyway, um, I have a huge haul coming later. I got so much cute stuff, you guys will love it. But now my mom and I are going to Wegmans so that we can buy stuff for a Charcuterie board. Yes, charcuterie board. <laughs> drive through our old neighborhood because we're hearing some old neighborhood gossip. Not gossip, just a lot of people have been doing things to their house and I'm just curious to see what the neighborhood looks like after we haven't been there for three and a half years. Yeah, so we're just doing all the suburban things today. We are like so suburban. We went to a local spot for lunch, we went to a boutique, we just went to Wegmans and now we're going through our old neighborhood. <laughs> the suburban. Um, and I find it so funny that everyone's commenting on my video 
being like, I hope she went to the bank. Still haven't gone, not going today, probably not going tomorrow. We'll try Tuesday, <laughs> but we'll see. I just don't want to go to the bank, but I do have to go to the bank. Can you explain? I'm eating a Reese's peanut butter cup. I don't know anything about it, except it's a non-alcoholic wine. It's sparkly, so it's a sparkling rosé. Where are you going, buddy? Come here. And it only has 27 calories per serving, per mm. glass. Let's go out. So I'm curious. Alcohol free. Did you say that? Non-alcoholic, yep. Oh. I think I said that. So yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Just because it's Friday night, why not? Friday night. We're going wild. Yeah, they're non-alcoholic wine. <laughs> Our glorified grape juice. It, it's grape juice. I mean, let's be real. Mm. Problem number one with the non-alcoholic wine. Yeah, can't get it can't open. Can't seem to open it. Oh, everyone comment, what paint color do you think they should paint the kitchen? I think they should paint it that one. Which one do you like? The third up. This one? No, third up from the oh, bottom. This one? Yeah. No, I think I'm going to use that in the bedroom. Yeah. Whatever I say um, never goes we, anyway. We are going to use it. Daddy likes that one. Or that one. Yeah. I kind of like this one, too. Where did he take our one? Oh. Nowhere. You just tools. abandoned it. This is very dramatic, isn't it? Yeah. Seems to be. Oh, I, I got it. Oh, we it. got it. Well, it looks like alcohol. It sure looks like champagne, doesn't it? How'd yeah. you get it? It, you must have loosened it for me. It opened up. It's like one of the kids couldn't have Do you want some? Wine. No. I didn't think so. I mean, if you're going to drink alcohol, you're going to drink alcohol. <laughs> well, we're not. We're not drinking alcohol. Okay. Cheers. Hang on. It really looks like alcohol. Cheers. Yeah, sparkly. Hmm. It tastes like... Tastes like alcohol. Yeah, it tastes like wine. It tastes like champagne. This one's a little flowery. 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 But we could absolutely make mimosas with this on Christmas morning. He so doesn't get the point. <laughs> I don't. Well, he doesn't <laughs> like champagne anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, this is nice. It is. It's definitely not grape juice. It's not the yeah, no, sparkling it doesn't grape, taste like juice grape juice that juice. you buy in the grocery store. A question though. Grape juice costs what? A dollar ninety-nine? Sparkling grape juice? Mm hmm What are you getting at? No, I'm just asking. Like this costs more. Fifteen dollars for the same thing. No, but it doesn't taste like sparkling grape juice. It, yeah, it doesn't tastes taste like, like grape juice. This tastes like champagne. Champagne. No, I get it. Like, it definitely is a weird... Like, why not just drink with alcohol if we are getting the taste of it? Well, I, I know I can't drink the alcohol because it bothers her head. No, but I understand the confusion because I think mm -hmm. a lot of people would be confused by it. Yeah. Because it's like, if it tastes like it, just drink the real thing. But if you are missing the taste of it, but you're not trying to drink alcohol, this is a great option. Yeah, A, the taste, and B, the... Being part of the celebration. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not feeling like you're drinking a, a yeah. grape juice. So I could totally take a bottle of this um, tomorrow to Dina's party. I like it. I like it too. I'm going to buy it. So I went shopping. Um, again, I went to Threads in Phoenixville. And I got so much stuff because I walked in and I was immediately just like, I literally only went in for a scarf and I walked out with way more than a scarf. Okay. So the first thing I got is this bag. This I got for the gym. Um, cause it's just so cute. It holds everything. Like it's the perfect bag for if you are like going to somewhere after the gym. And it's also just cuter than like a backpack. So I want this for the studio and I'm just obsessed what do you think of my bag do you like it you're probably not gonna like it yeah i know you wouldn't like it it looks like it's a woven basket but it's not so it looks like it's an astronaut farming bag <laughs> my mom didn't like it either but i do and that's all that matters i got this sweater 
so cute it's a size large so i guess it's like oversized i'm actually just gonna try it on i have a sports bra underneath of this so i got this sweater oh my god obsessed love sweater Okay, so I got that. Oh, this is a scarf that I got, which you guys saw. Then I got this sweater vest, which I want to try on. But I got the sweater vest, and it's long, so you could technically wear it, like, as a dress. It's pretty long. So you can wear this as a dress, and I got tights. And I would need, like, really high boots, which I don't have, but I have, like, shorter boots. But I could also um, tie this and make it, like, cinched. So I have options with this sweater vest. I'm excited. And if I don't love it, I'm just going to return it. But I was excited to try and style that. Then I got this shirt, which this is another one that I want to try and style. I think I'm actually going to try it on really quick. I have not worn color in such a long time. So I thought this was like a good color introduction. Obviously, I wouldn't wear a black sports bra underneath of this. But I thought that this was like a good neck length. Obviously not with like what I'm wearing, but I like the color. All right, I like this. So I got that. Oh yeah, I'm excited about this. Let me try this on. This is so comfortable. Yeah, like this is everything. Um, I might wear this tonight with the scarf and like a leather jacket. Yeah, like okay, everything. Love this. Um, the whole vibe that I was going for was just buying staples because I've been saying lately that like I just don't have staples in my wardrobe, so this obsessed love. Okay, then what else did I get? Then I got this. Oh, I got this sweater just because it's a great basic staple sweater. Dude, I'm not kidding when I say everything is in the same color palette. So I got that sweater, very excited. Oh, I got tights because I don't have any tights, so. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for this. I mean, with everything, I'm so excited. Okay, so I got this. This is a um, just long coat. Babe, I'm going to show you this coat because I think you're going to like it. Can you come in? No, I'll come in. I'll show you. Isn't this cute? This coat. Nice long trench. I've been meaning to get a coat, and this was on sale. Um, how much was this? So without the sale, this was $84, but I got $16 off of it. So it's just like this long trench. And then I got this white jacket, which is so cute. I don't have anything like this and it has gold detailing instead of silver because I feel like all like leather jackets, well, this is pleather, but all leather jackets have silver. So I'm so glad I got this one in gold. I think I only have a couple more things. Oh yeah, I got this shirt. Yeah, she pulled this for me and she was like, oh, you should try it. I thought it was white, but I guess yellow. Yeah, she pulled this for me and she's like, you should try it. And I trust her. What's it called? The sweater thing that I got, the sweater vest, because this is long and that would look really good. So I'm excited for this. I'm super cutie. Everything smells so good. It smells like the candle that they're burning in the store, which smells like maple syrup. <laughs> it smells so good. Then I got this white top because it has a high neck and it's gonna be good for layering things. It's pretty much the shirt I'm wearing now, but and like creamy white but this one's gonna be good for layering like if i wore like a t-shirt under or on top of it it's just a good layering piece and you can also wear it on its own so i'm so happy that i got this because i've been needing like basics like everything that i got were basics and this is the last thing which this shirt is so cool looking um it's like here i want to try this on because it's kind of hard to explain then um it's this black shirt that's like cropped but again for really good for layering like if you just want like a collar underneath of a shirt but also this with like a pair of jeans and some docks so cutie and i mean i've i have like a black sports bra underneath which it could work with black sports bra or you could just tape it and have it be kind of like plunging anyway i think that's everything that i got um, a lot of basics I feel so good about it and yeah, it was awesome Um, the girl that was working there was so cool and so nice and she was a Really great saleswoman. <laughs> she made me buy so much stuff and she was awesome. So shout out to Gina Um at threads. Yeah, but that's everything that I got So sorry that my camera died I feel like I lost so much like good content because my camera died um 
And long story short, my phone does like such a bad job importing onto my camera. It takes forever if the clips are longer than like a minute. And um, the resolution always gets so horrible. So um, I'm really sorry about that. Tomorrow, I don't know what I'm getting into, but I don't think it's anything too crazy. Um, yeah. I need to definitely wash my hair tomorrow tomorrow because all these like little baby hairs are so baby hairing. <laughs> I also think I need to repaint my nails because these two are chipping and this one chipped a little bit too. But yeah, I have nothing on the books tomorrow, so maybe I'll go to the bank. <laughs> doubt it though so i'm gonna sign off i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day thank you for watching love you so much peace out girl scout